Mann, 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 ey. Also das ist immer wie so eine Zeitreise. Ja? Also It's always like Sachen, time traveling. So You're seeing those so scenes and you ja, really can feel the spirit so of those events and what they mean to us. So thank you very much. We can see to um, the left of me, Sandra and Thies, um, who I'll introduce properly shortly. But first, um, a round of applause to you. You can feel it from everyone who watched the stream. And it seems like you've just felt it. So thank you very much. And also thank you for providing the film to us to show. And quick note to everyone watching, we have a pad which is already filled with questions. You can find the link in the Fahrplan and you can still add questions as we go. So let's tune in and see what we got from the internet. How were the animations made? Okay, so we're heading right in. Um, I would be interested in whether people re-watched the movie or watched the movie for the first time. So let's get to the question. The animations were a corporation with uh, Tom Fricke, it's his name. He's an animation artist, which I've known for a long time. And I knew that his style is exactly what I envisioned for my film. So I wrote the text and described my vision to him and he provided me with a storyboard and he animated that in what he calls 2D, 3D, or was it 3D, 2D? 2D, 3D. So it's, it's nice and neat, but still 3D. So did you take him to uh, the events, uh, the CCC events, or was it just... Well, I kind of soaked up the material and um, put it on his desk. So, of course, he saw the movie and I, um, I provided him with the slots where he would add in his animations. And yeah, that was in 2017. And we still had some um, empty slots where I told him to add in the animation. And I tried to explain to him. Well, yeah, he watched uh, the film, what I had so far, the material, and I explained the whole thing to him. And that's how we did it. But his animations are always like you've seen in the movie so that is why i asked him for to do my animation yeah they're very unique next question what do the birds mean and do they have anything to do with birds aren't real the birds the big birds why birds? Birds are a swarm, and I thought that was a nice image. And also the um, associations with various sayings like birds of a feather. So it wasn't just uh, real birds, but also um, animated birds like a mix between of the two and it was John's idea because I, I, I added so many pixels uh, like I blurred so many people that didn't want to be filmed that um, because of course people have to give consent before before I can add them into the movie 
Uh, und dann, uh, dann habe ich halt relativ und dann, müssen hier und da. Yeah, und, uh, of course, I had to blur many scenes. Und, gesagt, okay, and that, so sometimes I liked the blurring and I added in additional blurring. Ja, and so that was uh, John's idea. And the real escalation was the following also Congress. Für mich als, uh, nicht wissen, well, for uh, me, as not being in the loop, what is birds aren't real? Is it something that I should know? What does that mean? Are the, the birds really campers or? And one. Congress, there was an escalation but, um, over the four days. It started with birds aren't real, and then all kinds of things suddenly weren't real. Does it have anything to do with those birds? I, I don't know the origin. That's what I uh, thought it was. Well, I wasn't there. I don't know if I started that meme. I think it was something else. Everyone needs to know what they associate different things with because everyone has a different experience of the Congress. Okay, we have some latencies. Sorry to the viewers. So, that was my great concern when I was making the film. I was always afraid that my vision wouldn't be understood. But I think I managed to find an angle that everyone can understand and get into. Yeah, at one premiere in Berlin, I think you said that many of the raw data could um, be put into a pool where people could choose and pick their own ideas and remix them. Any news about that? Would you need support for that? Or? Well, there was an idea to do that with a few, few people who wanted to do that, but it turns out it's a great bunch of material which I had to sift through because um, they can't all be published with a CC license because in much of the materials people could be in the film that wouldn't want to be in the film or we couldn't ask. But if somebody wanted to host that kind of material, and make it accessible, then they can feel free to approach me. Because the question would also be what to do with that material. Because if I just want to use two or three images and have to download a terabyte in order to do so, that would make it difficult. So we would need to find a way to do that in a way that it makes sense. So I'd be happy to see uh, remixes and stuff. In, on the internet, I saw that your film is now under CC license in celebration of Wikimedia's 20th anniversary. What's the story behind that? And what could people do with the material? While I was filming, it became clear to me that I would want to publish it under a CC license. And in the end of the film, I just uh, clicked into it. 
tut was in dieser Community, jeder bringt was mit. Well, um, everyone is contributing to something to the community. And the whole thing only works because we all work together. And I think um, not just uh, because of the community, it's just my opinion that uh, it would be sad to let this film rot somewhere in the drawer. So it only makes sense to me to publish it that way. And uh, wiki commons have a few stipulations towards um, using their licenses and I um, just recently gave it into Wiki Commons, and there's also some additional material for um, people who want to use the film in educational contexts. And I think the basic prerequisite for more films to be published that way in the end, um, there are systems and laws that you have to um, that you have to keep, and sometimes, well, financial issues are also part of that. I was lucky to have 100% financing by the community, which made my project possible. And I'm working on a systemic approach to those issues in order to enable more people to make films like that and also support film communities that don't have it as easy as I did. Yeah, let's get you into the supervisory boards necessary to do that. Thank you very much for your work. I'm more of an audio junkie myself um, with the content from Deutschland Radio and so on. And I'm also sad to always see material taken down because of copyright issues. That plays into another question that was asked, um, how about the financing? Was your, uh, were you able to make your film lossless? How was the starting phase? Well, yeah, getting funds is really tedious. I can tell you that. The good thing is once you've made it, you have already an audience, a target audience who want to see the film because they've contributed to the financing. That's a good thing, but crowdfunding is not a solution to all problems. And, and well, uh, German taxpayers are paying into uh, the into funds for the media, but still, the um, public media in Germany aren't able to completely finance their projects as well. So it's no wonder that uh, filmmakers are having a difficult time funding their projects. And well, that's also the thing with um, publicly produced media being taken down. And that, um, that makes it so that you basically have to sell your movie, you're forced to sell your movie in the end. You're a very good example in that direction. Another question, are similar projects planned? 
Ja, was heißt ähnlich, ist die Frage. Also ich wurde ja lustigerweise ähm, immer wieder ähm, nach, äh, dem der Film dann fertig war, gefragt, wann drehst du den so nochmal an? So, noch also I was always asked, so when are you going to make the next one? So, uh, I, I, I don't want to do the same movie uh, two, three, five, four times. So, uh, we're not going to see all creatures welcome reloaded. But at RC3, uh, I, I created a music video for, for a song that T's created. And uh, that's going to be released before this Divok is over. And I'm, I'm working on something uh, that might be something like All Creatures Welcome, but especially for children. And this, these are long-term projects. And uh, what I'm working on the most right now uh, what I want to make into a film project. Um, and uh, I want to work on accessibility um, and and uh, availability. Um, and that's uh, what I'm working on. And I'm sure you will hear about it uh, at, at, at a certain point in time. And of course, that will be made available freely as well. So, so we're calling that latency. Uh, so one question that connects very well. So is is there is there a soundtrack? I I really love the music and I would love to add that to uh, my uh, music list. Tease. So Sunday morning. Between five and six, we are going to play the soundtrack in a uh, special DJ set version and will be made available on Bandcamp uh, directly for download, um, including uh, 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 new tracks, new versions, and uh, the various bits and pieces that uh, were released uh, individually. I, I've collected them all and, and reworked them. And this is kind of the final version. And that will be available right away on Sunday uh, for everybody to download. Um, so, so please take the time to actually download it at Bandcamp instead of just streaming it because it will sound so much better. Uh, download it. Uh, it will be free of charge. And uh, if you want to pay something, that's fantastic, but uh, don't feel obliged to. And it's, it's, it's a lot more fun to have it on your own hard disk. So I'm really looking forward uh, to that feast for the years. So thank you for that. Um, so a matching question, are there things that you would like to add or remove, like uh, patch uh, the movie or the sound? No, the movie is done. So you have to know, I worked four years on this, and uh, I, I, it took me half a year to cut it. And so I, I like watching it again and again. And and uh, also in the movie theaters while that was possible. And I always enjoyed watching it, and it's 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 still a lot of fun watching it. And the movie is done. Um, do you want to change something? So for me, this is kind of a time capsule. Uh, it is like it is, and it stays the way. And uh, so we 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 uh, put it into a capsule and shoot it into the sky. 
beantwortet. So the next question you already kind of answered. Um, so what kind of update or, or continuation might there be? Uh, um, so, so maybe that's a call for action for all the viewers. Uh, if you are interested in doing this, why don't you do it yourself? Uh, simply do it. Then there's the question, is uh, the album available on CD? So, yeah, download it and burn it. <laughs> so, funnily enough, uh, so we, we made DVDs for this movie and many, many people wanted to be able to uh, give this movie as a gift to their parents. Uh, and of course, you need a DVD for that. Uh, there are DVDs, but no CDs. So if you still have a CD burner, um, like these uh, outdated media, then yeah, sure, go ahead and burn it. Well, vinyl would be nice. Uh, we tried that, but uh, we, we didn't get uh, the funds together to put that out. Uh, and if we had succeeded in doing that, the soundtrack would have been finished by then. And uh, all the things that have been created since the release, uh, the original release, uh, would not have been a uh, part of that. So I'm really happy about uh, publishing that uh, on Sunday. Uh, it's a new musical dimension that we were able to add and and work with the Wikimedia Commons license. Okay, then we have... So the media is free to download. Are there legal limits uh, to public performance of the media? Apart, of course, of the pandemic-related uh, restrictions. Yes. So we have the CC by SA license. Uh, CC for Creative Commons, BI for the attribution, uh, uh, for me as the creator of the movie or T's for the music, and SA means, and uh, if you uh, are going to uh, create a derivative work, if you're going to change something, you have to publish your work uh, under the same license. So, if somebody is uh, doing some event, uh, for example, uh, uh, so some people have created their own drive-in theaters, and uh, if somebody wants to show it and earn money with it, then uh, I asked for a share of that. And uh, if the public media uh, were to ask for it, of course, I, I uh, wouldn't mind uh, getting a share of that too. Yeah. So I read the questions too, yes. Um, so the, so the, there's a big problem that uh, the public media, uh, the public TV and radio stations do not pay for documentary works. And my first movie that ran 15 times at ZDF uh, and uh, was five original broadcasts and ten uh, repeats, and and for all of that altogether, I get five thousand euros for a movie. <laughs> for for all together for all fifteen performances, and normally we only pay three. They said when they buy stuff like that. So it's many people stop making documentary movies because of that. 
So it's it's really hard to live off that. Yeah, so the, the simple things like paying your rent. <laughs> yeah, I heard of that. So that's unfortunately uh, the situation for docu documentary makers. So, so I would love to see uh, the reach that it would create, but uh, I would love for them to actually pay for it. So there's many comments and uh, so if you want to see more and read more, there's lots of comments in the pad and uh, people are very happy. And uh, at this point, uh, thank you very much to Sandra and Thies, uh, or Film Gizmo. Um, and uh, for all of you who were interested, so so once we're finished here, so uh, Friday night, uh, we watch the movie, and a after that, we go to the dance floor. So where do we go to the dance floor at Divok? Right, DJ Spock has uh, uh, collected a lot of uh, artists, and he, he has uh, many very cool acts. Um, so... So what's really cool, we're not just here in the stream, so we have the uh, interesting 2D world um, and we're all going to go into the world uh, to rave and uh, listen to the uh, DJs. Uh, uh, and uh, Tees, Tees, are we going to see you uh, Sunday morning at 5? Or is it is it just play and background the work? So I I will be in the background a little bit. I have created a couple things. I prepared a couple things. So we'll see. So if you really want me to, I I can I I, I can appear. <laughs> yeah, so I, I won't only push play, but I, I will, I will uh, adjust some some parts. Uh, thank you very much, everybody. Uh, thank you to the team in the background. And uh, that's uh, it for tonight. Uh, goodbye. Uh, also from your translators, she's a pirate and STB. And uh, somebody has to tell me.